So it's Rory Cowan's Q and A again. Hi, <laughs> <Hiya>, Rory. Hey, mammy. <laughs> Number 11, this must be at this stage. And look at me, it's early in the morning now. You're actually getting me up. I haven't even shaved yet. I look filthy. Anyway, <laughs> you'll all forgive me. You're just going to see me as I am. Oh, natural. Not with clothes on, but I haven't had a shave. <laughs> so, question for the day. Yeah. How did you celebrate your 18th and 21st birthdays? <laughs> now, my 18th birthday, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't remember it. And I don't remember it for a very good reason. I went, we all went to the local pub, myself and all my friends, for my 18th, and it was a Sandyford house in Sandyford, uh, in a suburb out in Dublin, uh, about a mile away from where I lived. And they all decided um, at 18 that because I was 18, um, I had to drink 18 pints. So they got me 18 pints of Smithix, and I never I didn't like <laughs> Smithix anyway. Um, I couldn't have, I couldn't drink the 18 of them, but I think I made a good go at it. Um, they were forcing it down me. I think I might have had about 12. But the only thing that happened then was I had to be carried home. And I passed out when I got home. I got put into bed and my head was in, like, in a, in a basin in case I vomited during the night. And then everybody else continued on with the party. I missed the whole thing. Um, unbeknownst to me, because I was passed out upstairs, they went over to the park across the road and they got a horse and they brought a horse into the house. Then uh, they were running around the street all night, all my friends were in there roaring and shouting. The party went on outside. What all area night was this? Long. What area? So Dundrum. It was about a mile from Sandyford where the pub was. Dundrum in Dublin. Suburban, suburban Dublin. Quite a posh part. And I didn't realise until the next day um, the police were called because... And people were complaining. <laughs> All my friends went out and decided they hadn't bought me a present, so they said we have to get them flowers. And they went to everyone's garden and they took up the took all the flowers from everybody's garden. Everyone knew it was happening with something to do at my house because my mother's flowers were still there. Now I have to say my mother was away on holidays at the time and my father and my brother and my sister, I was left to mind the house, so of course I had to have a party. But anyway, they took all the flowers from everybody's garden on the whole road and the police were called because people were complaining that their their gardens were vandalised. What happened when your mum came back? And the, but the police knew when they came, they knew we had stolen the flowers. And when they came into the house, there was stalks and everything all around the place. <laughs> so they knew. Um, but of course, they were hold, holding me responsible. Now, I wasn't charged around that, but they were holding me responsible because I was in charge of the house. But I, when, I persuaded, when I told them what happened, that I was unconscious, I missed the whole thing. They sort of let it go. Um, the neighbour um, came in the next morning as well and uh, I answered the door and it hung over to bits and he gave me a punch. Slap and up slap <laughs> because of all the noise that went on and I just had to stand there and take it and say I'm terrible sorry but I didn't know what had gone on. Was it a woman or a man? It was a man and then when my mother did come home she hadn't even got her foot outside the door of the car when the neighbours, the wife was running, the, the neighbour's wife was running over, Rory's at the having a party and it was terrible <laughs> noise and it was just gangs of people all around Esther, your lovely house. Lori Vieri. So of course my mother, she was gone mad, but she was going, she was sort of gone mad because the neighbour was complaining. Um, insofar as she thought that the neighbour shouldn't have been complaining. 18 years of age, of course you're going to have a party. My 21st was completely different. Um, my mother was wise this time she said it's not going to be a house party so I had it in a football club Shamrock Rovers a football team in Dublin they had a place uh, down in Milltown their grounds was in Milltown and they had a hall there so we had a party Dublin down there well. in Dublin and that was brilliant because I had all my friends from school uh, all my relations um, all my other friends my friends from work and it was a, a DJ at that night and it was just there was, there was about 150 people at that party and it was brilliant it was just a great night and that did go on all night i had a good few drinks then i didn't pass out anything you can tell us that happened um, at the party anything that happened at the party <laughs> um i actually was going out with a girl would you believe it i was going out with a girl <laughs> i was going out with a girl on my 21st Find and i yourself. think she might have thought oh maybe i'm going to have to question or something like that i've popped the question to myself are you doing the right thing or are you going out a girl but anyway now nah, there was no there was nothing it was just a brilliant brilliant party it was a fantastic night and uh there's that's about when you're young i'd love to be able to drink like i did then um not like 18 pints i couldn't do that but i used to be there was no problem to me to drink 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve drinks. And you'd, you'd be drunk, all right, but you could go to work the next day, you could work that night again and do the same thing again. Now, if I have two or three drinks or four drinks, that's as much as I can get. And then I'm done for days. I couldn't even look at another drink. But when you're young, you can do it. Um, it's probably just, I'm getting old. That's what it is. You just can't do it when you're getting old. But another thing, if you're a parent and you've got teenage kids or you've kids that are going to be teenagers and you go away, they're going to have a party. You know they're going to have a party. What do you so have just, to say to the kids, Rory? They're watching this too. If, you, if you're going to have a party, have a party. Enjoy yourself. Don't pass out like I did. Don't do that. If you're going to have a party, at least get the benefit of it and enjoy it. <laughs> That's what I did on the 18th. On the 21st, it was a great night. But I love a good party. I really do. Parties are fabulous. Thanks, bye Rory. Bye. See you on Monday and I'll be shaved and watched and everything. Bye bye. So that's Rory Cowan's QA and I'm Avery Citrum and good night. Good and night, good, good morning. Good morning, what am I saying? You haven't been to bed last night, have you? <laughs> that was in me.